Yeah, I know that I am particularly confused in the mornings. That's when I've been doing my bathrobe series, the B series of um, snuff reviews. And it's to be expected with the little sleep I've had and the amount of coffee I've yet to consume and stuff that I would be confused. Also, there is my advanced age to take into consideration. But that being said, I've got a really bad snuff memory loss problem. See, I don't label my snuff boxes. Here's a plastic snuff box. Uh, I got this from Mr. Snuff, of course. Now, the snuff has been in here long enough that I can no longer tell what the hell it was. Peach or apricot, maybe. And then, we got these little snuff boxes like this one. This is the uh, uh, snuffhouse.org boxes. And this box, this snuff is completely, you know what this was? This was taxi or something at one time, maybe. I don't know. My point is, is that I decant snuffs intending to use them into containers, forget that I've decanted them or forget what's in them, fail to use them, and they go stale on them. My advice to beginning snuffers, it's very tempting to want to try all the flavors right away. The downside of doing that is that you will end up with a lot of open tins of snuff. Now, fortunately, nasal snuff is more or less inexpensive. It costs less, in most cases, to buy a 25-gram tin of snuff than it would to buy a pack of cigarettes at your local store. That being said, if you're throwing away five-eighths of it or something, it's a waste. So don't decant anything into a snuff box unless you're going to use it that day. Because otherwise you'll end up with this very cool sort of shoe box looking thing, cigar box. This is India and have all kinds of unidentified and unidentifiable. Like, I have no idea. Here's, here's somebody's bullet. Let's see if I can smell. Ah, man. I can't tell what this might have been. Okay, here's a contest, guys. You tell me what this is, and you win a prize. Got the label towards you. Can you see it? Let's get down a little bit, back a little bit, forward a little bit. Can I read it now, maybe? Yeah, post a comment and tell me what that is, because honest to God, I can't. I'm getting sandalwood, and I know that's not what this is. Ugh. Snuff memory loss. Avoid it. Decant one snuff at a time. Try to keep your open snuffs in tight plastic containers in a cool, dry place to prolong their shelf life. Otherwise, find friends that you can share snuffs with. Buy snuff in smaller containers until you're sure you love a snuff. Buy yourself a variety. The shipping is based on weight, not number of items. So, buy yourself a number of small containers to try instead of going for the big ones right away. That's advice from the dank basement. Oh, hello, Isaac Ganaway. How you doing, bro? Keep working at the uh, thrift shop, man. And keep looking at all those cute goily goilies on my behalf. From the dank basement, this is Paul Shelvetter, your wicked Uncle Squinty. Thanks for watching.